Hello, this is Armando Penblade with TheGeekery.org. This is the second video I mentioned in the sound comparison I uploaded earlier today. Here, I'll be examining the concept of modding your keyboard. Now, before you go and get all hot and bothered, let me say that mine is the simplest and humblest of mods, but that, nonetheless, I am proud of it. We'll begin today with a story. When I initially decided to purchase a mechanical keyboard, I did a lot of research, and I kept ending up on the forums and wikis at geekhack.org. Geekhack's the preeminent keyboard enthusiast forum in the West, loaded with seasoned peripheral veterans and years of accumulated wisdom and advice. Since Geekhack was essential to my purchase, I posted a full unboxing there when I received the Majestouch. One user in particular took note of my posts, LPB45. He, too, had recently purchased a keyboard, and, when all was said and done, had ended up with an extra red escape key, something my own keyboard had lacked. LPB graciously offered to mail me his spare key, and it arrived today. So, this video goes out to you, good sir. Now, on to the modding. Philco's, like most Cherry MX-based keyboards, share a common keycap design. Although larger keys like Space and Shift might have specialized and complicated stabilizers holding them down, most keys of the same shape can be swapped out easily. Escape, in particular, is a breeze to take out given its shape and relative isolation. Once a key is taken out, its replacement can be dropped into place and then pressed down until it clicks onto the switch. Given that there are countless kinds of keycaps, made of all manner of different materials, with various methods of dyeing, etching, and printing the legends onto the keys, a true enthusiast can swap them around for years before ever getting bored. I'll be demonstrating just such a swap now, though I must warn true keyboard lovers that I'm going to be using some very improvised tools to remove my existing key, as I didn't order a dedicated key puller. Although plate-mounted mechanical switches like the ones in my Philco are very sturdy, they are not invincible, so if you perform a similar mod, I recommend you order a real kill puller online, or at the very least, avoid wedging your keys out with a screwdriver or something similar. So let's go ahead and get started. I'll be using uh, half of a paper clip and then, well, that's also a kind of paper clip, I suppose, uh, to uh, reach underneath the keys, or the key in question, and pull it out. And you'll also see it pops right out of place if you apply just a little bit of upward pressure on it. Uh, now, once it does come out, you can see underneath it has this nifty little cross-shaped uh, hole, which matches the cross-shaped switch perfectly. That's what will hold it in place whenever I replace it. Uh, the new key is, as I said, a red escape key, almost the same material and shape as the previous key. Uh, it'll fit right into place and should just drop in. As you'll note, it has the exact same cross-shaped uh, hole to hold it there. And so it should be as simple as dropping it into the uh, area of the keyboard and then pressing it down to lock it in place, and voila! There we are. And that's that. I'm now the proud new owner of a Red Escape key. So thanks again, LPP45. That was a, a truly fantastic thing you did for me as a, as a new mechanical keyboard owner. And that about wraps us up. So as always, thank you for your time.